I'm George, a grade 9 student at John Dewey School for Children, and I have been in John Dewey since 2010. I've been in JDC ever since I was 4 years old, and I don't really remember my first memory in JDC. I still remember how nervous I was going to school for the very first time. But you know, I would never even imagine staying in school for such a long time. But I'm grateful to have met so many incredible people here who have taught me valuable lessons that will stay with me forever. Progressive. Virtues. Integrity. Sustainable. Innovative. Leadership. Achievements. For our school, JDC has been promoting CBL learning alongside the sustainable education where we mainly focus on virtues with academics. Sustainability education can help us to properly understand what are the many lessons we can take and know about. It's education that encourages changes in knowledge, skills, values to enable sustainable society. Sustainable education is also a learning and teaching about sustainable development issues like example, climate change, biodiversity, poverty, and such. GDSC consequently promotes competencies like ideal thinking, imagining future scenarios, and collaboratively making decisions. Sustainable education can give us knowledge and skills about the environment and its importance and value for our future. The school shows sustainability education by creating our own eco brick to keep our area clean and to help the environment. This was based on my experience in school. has had a significant influence on my outlook on the environment. It began when we started having environmental discussions. And in those times, I started realizing how much harm we have brought to the earth and its inhabitants. The school has continued to push students to take action against environmental issues. And I think the discussions we have had changed the mindset of many students. I came to JDSC Clueless because the way to teach here is different compared to the public school I came from. The school pays more attention to the present and future while we are young, and we learn the basic knowledge of adults that children need to know. Basic needs that a person needs to know, such as financial literacy, how can we save money, managing the budget, um, human rights, how can we defend our rights, and there's a lot more. I became more mindful of my choices and actions. Maybe because the school environment made me adapt to it. We practice healthy eating habits and use reusable plates and utensils. We recycle materials for our projects. We also do urban gardening and we conduct webinars. When you enter the school, you see students do their tasks collectively at the cafe. And sometimes you'll hear the bad performing environmental songs. Everything we do helps the environment and aims to spread awareness on contemporary issues. However, a sustainability education widely known and practiced here in the Philippines? Unfortunately, no, uh, because it's, a, you know, it's an idea that's only been around for the last 10 years. And so it, I don't think it is as mainstream as it should be. The Philippines ranked fourth in terms of extreme weather events in German Watch 2020 Global Warming Risk Index. In DepEd's enhanced basic education information system, at least once in eight years, 43,810 out of 47,000 public schools experience natural hazards, which affects the social, emotional, mental, and physical development of children. UNICEF reported that climate change exacerbates the many threats to children's well-being, survival, and access to service in the Philippines, including education, water and sanitation, nutrition, and health. Schools and youth from parts of the world are moving and demanding for climate action, but much work is still needed to improve and coordinate interventions to an integrated climate change education. 
So sustainability is at, is at the heart of society, at the heart of your future, especially as young people. Um, it's about having a world that we can uh, nurture and that can nurture us. And that's why human rights is so central to sustainability because we do not do this just for the planet or just for the environment. We do it for the people. I always tell my students, people plus planet equals sustainability. So what can we do? practice it, to model it, to give examples in your schools, in your classrooms, and then eventually in your families and in your communities, what it means to live sustainability and to respect human rights. That, that is the most important thing that you can do. It's very welcome that you have sustainability education in your school and that you are mainstreaming it. The idea is sustainability should not be a marginalized thing should not be a minor thing, should not be a token thing, but should be at the heart of what you do. Education is a human right with immense power to transform on its foundation. Rest the cornerstones of freedom, democracy, and sustainable human development. This is said by Kofi Annan. Always remember to stand up for what is right. Yay! Wow. Period. <laughs> Period. <laughs>